Drew, you planned a really awesome surprise dinner with Big Frida in New Ooh, Orleans. Oh, that dinner was. Oh, I'm still embarrassed. Both of you mother and talk to me about each other when I wasn't there. Okay, because I'm not a mother. So f you are. I'm not Both of are actually. I'm going to do you. I'm going to do you. And I'm going to do you. Good night. With y'all fake no, asses. No, 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 no. Good night. I thought it was kind of embarrassing that we got into this altercation in front of Big Frida. I with Portia. Girl, you do not with me. You do not with me. You do not with me. I'm very wrong. I thought we should have carried ourselves a lot better. I'm a huge fan of Big Frida. We had a great time cooking in the kitchen. Yes. So I am completely not anywhere thinking that somebody is gonna get cursed out at dinner. When we got to that table, that's when it just went left. Marlo decides she wants to include Big Frida in on the drama. I'm asking you this as a um, friend. You're friends with someone who you love, you admire, you've been through a lot in your life. Someone who you've had a rocky some years with you didn't like. She comes and she tells you something about that friend. She did this whole little spiel about what was going on and turned to Big Frida's like, so what would you do? And Big Frida shaded her ass on the slide. She didn't even mean to, I don't think. Big Frida was like, stay out of it. What would you do? Honestly, I just don't like confrontation. So I walk away from it all. Exactly. When we were sitting there and she brings up this scenario in her whack ass <laughs> dramatic monologue i was like oh uh, bitch girl it's so calculated how this person came around right when they were trying to come in and hurt me and it is true there's something about wait a minute you're talking about me and we just had this conversation yeah. I, well, damn, i wasn't gonna throw you under the bus it's seven women here what you're not gonna do is think that you're gonna sit here and build this up while i'm sitting next to you and you're clearly talking about me. you bold like i thought you'd been to prison 15 times you ain't no Ooh. more bolder than that so that's when i said to marlo i'm like well marlo are you talking about me like go ahead and just say shamir we're not gonna take the bottle to the head in the house. You started so out sorry. literally like classy Barbie. <laughs> this is going down here. The Big Frida dinner went from, from real classy and fun to this right here. <laughs> Do not fall. <laughs> Address each other and stop running around this girl, you need to calm down. Wait, what's happening? Bring no. it down. I'ma do you. I'ma do you. We'll and I'ma do you. Good night. With y'all fake no, no, asses. No, 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 no. Good night. Good night. Good night. You just Good night. night. Good night. Good night. has nothing to do with you. Good night. And then Marlo comes back in with her dry twirl. <sighs> I went the wrong way. Y'all still sitting here having your fake ass conversation. The bitch ain't gonna put a lie on me and I'll straighten her motherfucking ass. Why are you so much right now? You know, you try to use me, bitches, you mother. You mean, nah, nah. And I'm like, bitch, do you need a cigarette? Go sit down somewhere. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, too much. What happened? We were, we just talked and made amends at the dance class. How you get to the dinner and you this mad? And then that's when I realized that, you know, Kenya's big plan was to use the girl. Portia was kind of like saying Kenya had an ulterior motive of being cool with Marlo. If the night you, you decided to make friends with her was the night she came and made the accusation because you are my friend and she wants to pull you on her side and here you go. So as if she needed Marlo to kind of co-sign the story. I mean, I don't understand that part because it's like, she didn't really need Marlo to co-sign anything. She had already said she heard everything for herself. Why are you lying about f***ing Bolo here? Oh, yes, you did. I it was man, good, man. according to several I people. Everybody. Yes. I heard Woo. it. Yeah, it seemed Stop good. It. That didn't add up to me, but yeah, it, it, it just became this whole question of friendship all the way around. Portia, you decided to leave New Orleans a little early. Portia's gone. You lie. Portia left. Bitch, stop. She's in Atlanta. I felt it was time for me to go because in that moment where, you know, I'm going back and forth with Kenya. Don't Portia. say my name. I can say Don't your name. Say Don't say my name, Kenya. Going back and forth with Marlo. You know what it is, girl. You don't me. You don't with yourself. That's exactly what I have been trying to avoid, okay? Is this toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, I'm gonna call you this, you can call me that or whatever, or dealing with this dumb situation 
And I was like, I don't have to. I, I honestly don't have to. I don't need to be here with this energy, you know? And I agree with your decision to leave just because it was such a, a weird dinner. Both of you mother and talk to me about each other when I wasn't there. And it was so extra. It was so weird. It was just like, wait. Good night with y'all fake no, no, asses. No, 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 Good night. Like, are you possessed with something? The bitch ain't gonna put a lie on me and I'll straighten her mother Ass. Why are you so much right now? Yeah, and, and, and guess what, Shamia? We also talked about it. We don't know if what Marlo could have done, okay? This girl is absolutely out of her mind. You have to understand how fast she made the switch. Like, she literally was my friend hours ago. So it was really shocking to me, and it, it, it was like a big sign, like, you need to get out of here. Like, this girl could possibly be dangerous for someone to make a switch that fast. Mm-hmm. For Kenya, someone who has talked so disgusting about you for years. It hurts me that you keep saying I'm a prostitute. I dated a billionaire. Big pen. I don't like Marlo and I never will. She has no class. No, 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 no. It was weird. Why do you think Marlo was willing to put the past behind her when it comes to Kenya? Some people are clout chasers like that. And if she thought that Kenya was going to be able to ruin my name, ruin me and, you know, bring me down, then she was going to go on the next most powerful thing. And that's who she thought Kenya was. Same way she rode Nene's coattail for years. OK, years. How did they link up? Do we know when and how they linked up? Because my silly self encouraged it. Remember when we was on a boat? Remember when we was on a boat and, <laughs> yep. and she was crying to Kenya? This girl really don't want me and candy and i just kept saying you know give her some time and then i actually said to her said marlo listen i i may not necessarily like kenya okay and i may necessarily not be her friend but if i am kenya and i have an issue with you or i feel like you have said something to me that i am not over yet you're gonna have to give her time eventually you all will be able to have a conversation and get to a better place and when it's time be able to receive it and be apologetic and be honest that's what i told her so i for, fought for them to be friends again and then look what happens you gave your friend away <laughs> look listen she was never mine from the get-go you're right Portia so at the big Frida dinner after the blowout with Portia and Marlo tensions start to rise between Portia and Kenya it was a mess it was very a childish argument why are you lying about f***ing Bolo here oh Oh, yes, girl. you did. I was man, good, man. according to several I, people. Everybody yes, you did. at the bachelorette party. It was so immature at one point. You know, Portia's like, don't say my name. And Kenya's like, Portia. Don't say and my name. I can say your name, Don't Portia. say my name. I can say don't your name. Don't say my name, Kenya. Don't Kenya. direct your anger at don't me. Say, direct it at I'm yourself. It was like, it was so silly. It was just, I was like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. What difference does it make if somebody decided to f stripper? What difference which they would did. it make? Let's not lie about if it. If they did. That's their right. business. What difference would it make? None in my life. It's not going to make a difference in my life either. So why do we keep talking about it? Kenya, even though this dungeon code was established, why is it still important to you to get to the bottom of what happened in the dungeon, to talk about what happened in the dungeon? You know, the thing is, I hate when people blame someone else for their own behavior. You chose to do what you did, but yet it's someone else's fault that they're talking about it. Now what, bitch? Now what? Now what? I'm a bitch. What? Don't call me out my name. Bitch. Bitch. Oh, you definitely a bitch. I think that's just ass backwards, as, my, as, as, as I've heard before people say. If you don't do the behavior, then you don't give anyone anything to talk about. Don't blame me. Blame yourself. You did that, not me. I understand how Kenya feels as far as she just feels like if we're in a house together, if you know you're going to do something wild, do you want to do it around somebody that you don't have the best relationship with to where they could put you on blast? So from her point of view, it's like if somebody's stupid enough to do that, then, you know, whatever, because this is part of being a Real Housewives of Atlanta is just talk about things and put it on the table. I'm talking about it because we're talking about it. So Marlo is upset because Portia's dragging her into Don't it. Talk and about making me. her choose. Don't talk about me. I get where she's coming from. It's just on this particular situation, I just didn't want to participate in it. You chose to get 
your groove on in the cast house where we're shooting an entire television show about your life. Why would you think we're not talking about it? Make it make sense. And be, be clear for the hundredth time. Do you, boo, okay? But if you do you on a cast trip in front of us, we're going to talk about it. And it's not personal. Had Kenya, Candy and I been in a room with Bolo and some of the other ladies heard noises, moans, groans, whatever, it would have been a topic of conversation. Oh, honey, it would be on the five o'clock news. Like because because if it was me, we would be talking about it until I got no, dragged honey, all the way back talk home, about honey. Your Just own it and everyone that's talking about it will shut the <laughs> up. It's just as simple as that. Next question. <laughs> Very eloquently said. <laughs>